Thank you, Mark, very much for having us as part of this very important discussion. Really excited to be here. Um, as you mentioned, I am the Global Business Development Manager for AWS Ed Start, and specifically, I get to work with um, our investor community um, to help our uh, AWS EdTech startups. So I just today wanted to give you really quickly, I'm going to run through some things. If you have any questions, I'll put my information in the chat afterwards so you can ask. But I'm, so I'm going to move really quickly just to give you a background. Why did we create AWS Ed Start? Um, what are some of the criteria that we use to evaluate ed tech startups that want to be part of the program? And then I thought you'd probably learn a lot more just if I could tell you the voice of the customer um, and let you know what they're using for, with AWS services and what they say about the program. So we started AWS Ed Start because we realized that startups are really pressed and stretched for resources um, and that the ecosystem Dr. Rose Luckin had talked about is very disjointed. And so we thought we could bring um, our ecosystem together from a technology and a community standpoint and really help ed tech startups build on AWS and build faster. So that's how we developed AWS Ed Start. And it is Amazon Web Services virtual accelerator for startup education uh, technology companies. And what we do is we provide benefits and services to that next generation of online learning, analytics and campus management uh, tools that are designed um, and specially tailored benefits to the ed tech community. Um, important to note is that once you become a, a member of AWS Ed Start, it's not like your typical co cohort where you come in and you move out. You stay with our family forever, and we also do not take equity in the companies that are part of our program. We go by three main uh, tenets, um, and that's to engage and support ed techs early and consistently as they build and launch and grow their solutions. We want to focus on innovative teaching and learning technologies and, that provide positive outcomes for students and teachers. Um, and then we just want to make it easy for those ed techs to make connections at AWS and in their peer relationships globally. We have customers in over 30 countries, um, and we have two levels of customers. So we have an AWS Ed Start Innovator tier and an AWS Ed Start Member tier. Um, what's important to note there is an innovator uh, is a very, very early startup in their first two years um, at, at building their product. Um, and a member is someone in their, their zero to five years time frame. The biggest distinguisher between the two of them is the member actually has stakeholders and must have stakeholders in the industry in order to become a member. But the idea is to take those innovators, help them with the foundational level of benefits and uh, credits so they can experiment on AWS and then they can build their business and then become an AWS Ed Start member. And members get um, benefits such as um, credits and technical training and technical assistance. Uh, and there's a number of other benefits which are all on our website. If you have any questions, I'm happy to go over them, but for the interest of time, I'll just keep moving. I thought I'd like to just focus on our um, global founders. So this is an exclusive group of AWS member, Ed Start members from around the globe. I've chosen just five of them so I can run through them quickly with you to, to let you know how they're using AWS and really the benefits that they've found with AWS Ed Start. So we'll start with um, Testwe. And Testwe's, uh, they needed a global capability. So they came to AWS because of that global need. Um, and our team was able to help them provision the services. Uh, and they went from 2,000 students to nearly 20,000 students being tested simultaneously from their homes, which is a tenfold increase. Um, and they just, you know, appreciated that the way that our team came in and helped them navigate through the um, through the technology and also streamline that migration process. Um, they said that it was 10 times, uh, they, they scaled their testing services 10 times globally with no degradation. Um, Lesson B. Uh, Lesson B really has a mission to to change the way we teach health ed. And um, they are an Ed Start member. They came in and hired, they had hired a technical lead and they worked with our technical account manager and our business development manager in the US um, to make sure that their, their services were provisioned properly. And um, they were able to scale 200, by 266%. Um, Roy B. Robot. 
so the reason I, I uh, bring these guys up is because what wakes me up in the morning is helping our customers. And we really strive to form that community and connect our, our members with, with teachers, with uh, investors, with you know, thought leaders in the industry. And um, Roy B's quote just really touches my heart because it's, it's, it is what, what gets me up in the morning. Um, AWS Ed Start team provided us with technical guidance and helped us to reduce cost allowing us to reduce our development spend by thousands and launch five months ahead of schedule. At Royby, we call the AWS Ed Start team our family, and that's how much we appreciate their support. So that speaks volumes to me. Um, Long Quinn, I, I bring you to him because he grew up in the countryside of China and is really trying to have an equitable uh, learning for students. And so he has a, uh, he uses our AI and ML um, services, and um, he required an infrastructure, infrastructure to be deployed in the cloud um, and handle those workload spikes. So we were able to help him handle an eight-fold spike in application workflow and uh, deliver reliable performance. Three minutes and left. Yep, perfect. I'm all, I'm just about done. Um, <laughs> I try to follow the rules, Mark. <laughs> Not always, though. Thank you. Um, I'll leave you with Geniali. Um, they they have 80 employees. They're a fairly large ed tech, but we were able to help them decrease their cost by 50%. Um, we really do work with our, our customers, our members, to make sure that they are well market and that they are using the services properly so, to reduce spend and therefore pass that savings on to their customers. Um, and how, how do we engage with teachers? So there's a couple of points to make, and that is that, you know, Product feedback directly to our founders and technical teams from teachers is paramount. And we have teachers in our community that help us do that. And we're always open to more folks involved in that part of the community. Um, but also we offer entrepreneurial support because a lot of our, our founders are teachers. Um, they, they have a mission to solve problems in education. So we're there to help them. There's two other programs I want the teachers here to know about, and that is Educate and AWS Academy. And AWS the, both of these are really um, formed towards cloud careers, but um, Academy specifically has a free ready to teach class curriculum for higher ed institutions and then educate has access to cloud career content um, for students. And then there's, there's also a job seeking board. One other thing, our uh, my colleague, Dr. Chris Kraft will be uh, involved in a panel discussion with EdSurge, uh, February 24th, uh, all about how educators shape the ed tech tools of today and tomorrow. Um, you can please follow us on our social media at AWS underscore EDU and hashtag AWS EdStart. And we uh, welcome you to learn more at our website.